This is lesson 6 of science module 1 and we will be covering plant system. By the end of this lesson, you should understand what a system is. You should be able to understand and recognize the difference between plant parts and understand their functions and also explain how and why different plant parts work together. Now, starting off, what is a system? A system consists of many parts working together to carry out a function or a group of functions. Examples of systems include a solar system, your watch, your phone, remote control, television. These are all systems because they consist of many parts working together to make, the, to make something else happen. Now a plant is a system too. It has got roots, leaves and the stem. And these are the main parts of the plant that help to make up the plant system. The parts have their own functions and they work together so that the plant grows well. Now let's look at leaves. A leaf has parts like the leaf stalk, veins and leaf blade. Different plants have different designs. Some leaf stalks are short while others are long. Some have parallel vein arrangement while others have network vein arrangement. The shape and texture of the leaf blade varies in different plants too. The main function of the leaves is to make food for the plant through photosynthesis. To do this, the plant needs light, water and carbon dioxide. The leaf contains chlorophyll, which allows it to photosynthesize. Some leaves also aid in reproduction, like the kalankoi plant. It forms buds at the edges of the leaves, which then grow into a new plant. Other plants have leaves which help them to store food and water. For example, the aloe vera stores water and onion stores food in the leaves. Let's move on to the roots. Now, the main function of the roots is to hold the plant firmly to the ground, absorb mineral salts and water from the soil, and for this to happen, the roots must spread out widely into the ground. Now, different plants have different types of roots. The mangrove plant, for example, has prop roots. This is, this is what we call prop roots, which lift the plants above the soil. Large trees have buttress roots which helps them to prevent the tree from toppling over. Some plants reproduce through their roots like the sweet potato plant and others store food in their roots like carrots and also the sweet potato. And let's move to another part of the plant, the stems. Now, the stem of a plant has these main functions. They carry water, mineral salt and food from one part of the plant to another. Water is carried through the xylem tubes and food is carried through the phloem tubes. The stem holds the leaf up so that they can get better sunlight. Some plants have weak stems which climb up something to reach the sunlight. Most plants store food in the form of starch in, st in their stems. Other plants like the cactus store water in the stem and plants like potato reproduce from their stems. Now this is a summary for what you would have learned in this lesson. Take your time, you can pause the video right now, go through it, see if you understand everything. If not, rewind and... So now you have successfully learned about plant system. Well done everyone and uh, goodbye.